This year's IFEX Zone at the Aircraft Interiors Expo in Hamburg saw a mix of both new and returning exhibitors. InFlight caught up with a few of them to talk about their latest developments. Hi, um, this is uh, Christian from uh, Neutral Digital. Uh, we're a design and software development company based in London, in Shoreditch. And uh, we have just launched, in conjunction with Panasonic, a suite of apps for the infrared entertainment sector. So we have uh, created these applications here as a kind of a standard look, if you like. But if an airline approaches us and uh, we can deploy to any specifics of their user interface, colors or branding itself, um, and the, uh, the applications that we're deploying um, are two main sort of categories. One is the, uh, the infotainment applications, um, applications that talk about the brand or the airline or the services uh, that an airline is offering to their passengers. And then we have games. But everything that we do is utterly 3D. Um, but let us um, uh, focus maybe on something that is incredibly fun, particularly for kids. <laughs> Uh, which is Paint My Plane. So the, the concept here is that, um, as with all the other applications as well, is that we're focusing on airline-related content and travel-related content. Um, and this one in particular here is a painting application and you're using the aircraft um, yeah, as, a, as a canvas. Mm -hmm. Let me zoom in slightly. So apart from actually exploring an aircraft and a model, in this case it's an A380, but we could use any type of model of aircraft, um, you get a blank aircraft, um, you will find here a set of colors that you can choose. Uh, you have also your tools, your painting tools, a bucket for instance, mm -hmm. you know, to fill the entire um, aircraft uh, with a specific um, color. Then you have pencils, um, you also have uh, an eraser and stencils. So let me show you how this works. So if you're selecting a tool and then a specific color here, um, let's say that we're, we want a slightly smaller tip, we can start creating shapes on the body and the, uh, of the aircraft itself. And we're creating a symmetrical livery immediately. Um, and also the, um, uh, the beautiful thing about these applications is that uh, we do have modules for GCS connected aircraft, so internet enabled aircraft, to for instance um, utilize um, any sort of social media content aggregation platform that the airlines might be using. Or then the passengers could send uh, these designs as a memento in a sense, or as a souvenir, if you like, of the journey uh, to their email addresses. Um, but also if, if they want to, they could post it on Facebook, Instagram, or any other social media platforms directly from their seat. Let's start, let's start with AirConnect Global, right? AirConnect Global is our connectivity system. So this is our global KU antenna. It was announced last year. This one is a first, it's called a blue label. It's a working version. <laughs> and it is known for three things. It is very high performance, it is very stable, in other words the quality of this is well proven because it's based on our existing current antenna which has the highest MTBF in the industry and this is designed to be even bigger than that and finally it is Global, what does that mean? It can work anywhere under the, with the satellite system on a KU system, which is available over the globe. It can work over equators, it can work close to the poles. Uh, traditional systems have two axes, which means that an antenna can move either on elevation, which is up and down, or azimuth, which is side to side. This antenna is designed not only to have those two axes, but add an additional third axis, which is called a tilt axis. What does that do? What it means is that you can actually point this black aperture precisely to the satellite from wherever you're flying over the globe. Now, this is the KU variant. We know about KU spectrum and uh, KA spectrum and others. You can actually take this KU aperture and open it up and substitute it with the KA aperture exactly on this base, right? And you can do that in a matter of hours. 
So the versatility of such a design, and you add that reliability and the performance, right, and the fact that it's global, is what our global KU and KA Connect is all about. Connecting the aircraft is a definite trend. And you know, and we, we're gonna see this year a number of big moves, and you know, we are very happy and excited to launch uh, Imarsat GX technology by way of bringing broadband to the industry. So we're really trying to showcase what we believe the entire nose to tail uh, connected aircraft can bring. And you know, we are very happy to bring today some demonstration on how we can uh, demonstrate through latest virtual technologies the benefits uh, that connectivity can bring on board an aircraft. And we look at it from different angles, from the passenger angles on how you know that can be, that can help passenger entertain themselves, but also how the entire airline from the crew to the onboard to the ground personnel can help and entertain and interact with the passenger. We look into how the crew can benefit from their operational duties to improve the way they work, as well as from the cockpit perspective, how we, the uh, pilots can better manage their flights, but also interact with the crew and the passengers. So we're trying to do a bit of a 360 view of the benefits around connectivity and how to demonstrate that. And we do it in, a, in the best possible way, leveraging modern technology around VR technologies. Well, at Skylights, what we do is that we bring the cinema experience on board. And we do that using immersive headsets, immersive glasses that were specially designed for in-flight use. And that when you wear them, essentially, make you forget and escape your immediate environment so that you can forget your fellow passengers to the right and to the left and enjoy an amazing movie um, on a wide angle cinema screen in 2D and for the first time in 3D on board. And so we were coming here for the first time in uh, the Airline Terror Expo uh, as our commercial launch talking to the rest of the airline industry. Um, packaging our devices, our hardware, with a uh, kind of one-stop shop solution. So we distribute Fox content because you need 3D movies, right? So 2D and 3D movies that are distributed that, that way. And also by partnering with the right logistics partner at the airlines hub to make sure that from the airlines point of view, um, all they have to do is take, take care of the onboard distribution of the glasses through their cabin crew. Of course, 2016 is going to be the year of the head-mounted displays. We're going to hear so much about it. Uh, it's going to make our ears ache uh, by the end of this year. Um, so I might just take a step back and explain how we are different with the rest of this uh, in the rest of the space and so we actually went as far as saying well actually we're not going to do virtual reality at all i believe that when you're on board um, for 25 percent of your time you're going to watch movies and you want to be able to do so in a way that actually allows you to enjoy it not just pass the time um, and if you want to do that well, with high resolution, with the impression to be at the, at the movie theater, and most importantly, in a comfortable position where you can watch one, two, three movies, you need to have a device that's very, very light, and we are very, very light. This is uh, 280 grams. The uh, next headset uh, that's uh, lightest after that is 420, uh, so there's, there's a big gap there in terms of impression. And we have our, our users that use it for, to watch movies on one, two, or even three movies uh, on board. So, that's where we stand right now. When we, uh, when we started, we really uh, uh, kind of shut ourselves down and worked on the product. And this is actually the sixth version iteration of the, of the product. The first one that we thought was ready to be put out there and tested. Uh, and I think we were proven right in that. Um, and there are two other versions that are uh, being worked on right now, uh, basically rolling out at six-month intervals. Uh, one that should be rolling out, I'm hoping, before the summer, uh, it might be immediately after that, but uh, essentially uh, July, August, or September. Big difference will be uh, integration with wireless IFP systems and HD, uh, moving to the HD uh, resolution. And the second one, which will be, should be ready by the end of the year or, or very early 2017, um, and that will integrate an active noise cancelling headset 
within the device so that you don't have two separate uh, things that you need to put. Really, we have to make it as, as simple as possible for our passengers.